In his exploration of the concept of free will, Stace proposes a distinct difference between acts that are freely done and those that are not. According to his analysis, the key factor lies in the immediate causes of these acts. Acts that are freely done are those whose immediate causes are psychological states in the agent, while acts that are not freely done are those whose immediate causes are states of affairs external to the agent. Stace's distinction sheds light on the significance of the agent's psychological states in determining the freedom of an act. By emphasizing the role of internal psychological factors, he underscores the agency and autonomy of the individual in the decision-making process. This perspective challenges traditional notions that external circumstances or deterministic forces solely dictate an individual's actions. Stace's emphasis on the internal causes of freely done acts implies a certain level of control and volition on the part of the agent. Furthermore, Stace's differentiation between acts that are freely done and those that are not raises important questions about accountability and responsibility. If the immediate causes of an act are rooted in the agent's psychological states, to what extent can they be held accountable for their actions? This inquiry delves into the complex intersection of free will, moral agency, and ethical culpability. Stasis framework prompts a deeper examination of the factors that influence human behavior and the implications for assigning moral responsibility.